Hi, I'm Matt Kvezic. Um, it's good to be back. Um, I think I'm just going to answer some of your questions. I spoke to Solin. He was, you know, quite keen to have me down, and he sort of expressed his vision about vision about having, you know, bringing the young guys through, and you know, bringing back guys who are um, affiliated and part of the club. And you know, I've always felt part of it. You know, is my the place where I started my rugby career. So you always have that. Um, sort of home home feeling here, um, yeah, and, and you know, with the guys coming in coaching wise and the players they've got, it was kind of really a no-brainer. And um, yeah, it's just it's nice being back. Everything's changed. It's all all the same but different. And um, yeah, just want to hit the ground running. We want to finish top six. I think you know, I haven't I haven't been in any meetings. I don't know what the the, the goals are and whatnot, but for me, you know, it's, it, you know, Worcester should be a top six team, um, you know, competing in Europe, and um, you know, it's obviously it's a, 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 a slightly rebuild phase with new coaches and some, you know, some young guys coming through the academy. So it will take a bit of time, but um, I definitely think that's that's where we should be looking, and, and fingers crossed we can get there. Wherever I can get a game, to be honest. Um, I don't mind. I really enjoy playing seven. Uh, probably, and I'm really enjoying playing eight as well. So, um, you know, they are quite different. You get your hands on the ball a little bit more at eight, which I enjoy. Um, and then you have a bit more license at seven for a bit more free roll. So, I don't mind either one. As fast as Billy Wiz. It's a good question, that. I'd say a small mountain goat. Yeah, definitely. Look, you know, obviously been been away for 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 seven seasons, uh, or six and a half, but seven seasons, and you know, I've learned a lot along the way, especially about not just rugby, but um, you know, players and and how to act within the groups and and you know, being part of different groups. So yeah, definitely, I think that experience will, will help me and. Hopefully I can add a little bit. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably say so. Yeah, I mean, um, I left quite, you know, quite young, and I think you know that, that the season that they had when I when I left was probably not not its best. And, you know, it was a, it was a good squad, um, but I definitely think here, like you say, with the back row, um, the options at back row are you know, ep, you know exceptional. Um, the backs as well, are, you know, you've got some electric backs, so. Um, yeah, I think probably on paper it probably would be a. Yeah. I met Ted a little bit today, and he's got he's, he's rocking a top knot, so I'd probably have to say him. But um, I can answer that when we've met everyone. It's one of those things that you never sort of really take for granted. It's. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's great fun, like being out on the pitch with those, you know, different bunch of boys and, um, you know, representing your country is always an honour. So, yeah, it's um, definitely have fond memories of it. Oh, uh, well, I have to say Pens, he was the best man at my wedding. So um, I'm going off to see him after this for some, for a, an outside barbecue. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, probably him, but I'm sure we'll uh, hopefully I get to make some more friends along the way. <laughs> Oh, hugely. I think having homegrown talent and guys who want to, um, you know, you know, play for Worcester in, in the local area is massive. You know, that's what that, that's the sort of players you want, and um, I experienced that um, coming through, and hence why I've come back. You know, and, and like I said, you know, Solly's vision to to have these guys push through and the young guys come through is awesome. I was lucky enough to go on a. Um, a school camp when I was like 14 um, and actually it was, it was joint camp between Worcester and Gloucester um, and the guy who was running was Matt Sherratt um, and he asked if I trained the camp, we did some army stuff, we did some rugby stuff, um, did the camp and he asked if I'd want to come up and do some stuff with the EPDG. I was at, at school down in Devon at the time so my dad was basically a taxi up and down the M5 um, and then sort of 15, 16 I was training up here took the step to come and do my college up here at Worcester, uh, Worcester um, Sixth Form College and doing the ACE, ACE scheme um, and then sort of from there I never really looked back it was just sort of 
snowballed after that really. So I've been quite lucky, been quite, you know, I've had a lot of people help me along the way. Favourite biscuit would be um, hobnob, chocolate hobnob, just to clarify. There's no reason why we can't. Um, you know, you've seen it from teams that have, you know, been middle table teams and, cr and crime their way up. You know, you take, for example, Bristol, you know, they haven't been in the league that long and they've really pushed their way up the league. So you know, it's not nothing that, rugby's nothing that is a quick and easy fix. You know, things take time and hard work. Um, so you've got to put the foundations in, which I think they've done with a good coaching set up and, and obviously promoting the academy. So yeah, five years, is no, there's no reason why it's not an achievable target, but um, I'm, I'm a big believer in thinking like what's going on next week rather than next year. So um, I think that would be the same for a lot of the boys, just focusing on you know the season in hand, getting that finished and then hopefully nailing a top six spot next year.